say hi. Hi. Hey to the people. It's Kendall and Cooper. So we are going to be um, using this like kid chef cookbook and we are going to be making fresh fish tacos. Cooper picked it out himself. Um, we're gonna do our version of it a little bit because some of the stuff on there is a little extra. Still looks like a little hot taffy. No, like I ate some already. Then I wash my hands again, but it, <laughs> then I get off. Okay. Okay. All right. Let's wash our hands real quick. We don't want no hot taffy stuff. Let's wash our hands. Okay. 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 Let's wash Okay, so the first thing we do, we have our cod. We're gonna be using cod. So I'm just gonna cut this into pieces um, really quickly. And then once I finish the pieces, I'm gonna like, you know, show you in the bowl and we're gonna season and all that good stuff. Alrighty, so this is a fish now that it is cut in pieces. Um, so and this is the Cooper. <laughs> All right, so we are going to add the seasoning. So we're gonna start with olive oil. So you're just gonna pour a little bit of that over here, like try to cover all the fish with it. Not a lot, there you go. Perfect, that's good. All right, boom. That was easy. That was easy. All right, now we're gonna add all these seasonings, okay? So start. I wanna slap your mama. <laughs> Okay, all right, you wanna do that one first? Yeah. Go ahead, don't go crazy with it. Over here, cause that one's a little spicy, so don't go too crazy. A little spicy. Remember, try to get it over on all the sides over here too. There you go, that's enough. Okay, good, that's enough, that's plenty. All right, good. Put that one to the side. All right, next is Laurie's. A little bit less than that. Wait, I'll just do this. Mm-hmm, yeah. But put less than this, try to go in circles, like get it around. There we go, okay, good. All right, next we're gonna go Creole seasoning. Creole? Creole. Oh. Creole. I thought it was Tio. <laughs> Get over here a little more. There you go, all right. Well, I mean, it doesn't matter too much because we're gonna have to massage it. Onion powder. Just a little, I don't want it to be too oniony. All right, good. Um, let's go garlic powder next. Okay. Got your thok. I don't know how to spray it. Got it all over me. Oh, you too much? Okay, good. Alrighty. Um, last few. We'll do paprika. Okay, this was so fast. This one is, okay, yeah. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> Do it this way. Okay, that way. There you go. A little more, a little more. Boom, okay, that's great. All right, a little paprika. Just a little bit of this. Just a little bit? Mm-hmm. Good, that's good, we gonna mix it around. And let's do a I'm little blackening. Mm -hmm. You got to do it with your hands. Okay, I thought we had gloves here. <laughs> if we had gloves, we could have been so big. Yeah, we could have used some gloves. We don't have any. All right, perfect. All righty. And then the last thing, this is a trick. Okay, so I'm going to do this part. Oh, okay, because so, there's a lot in there? Yeah. So I take just a little bit of this cornstarch when I'm in the air fryer or when I'm frying my food. And you just put just a little bit on top. Like we're sprinkling, you know, boom, enough to cover. All right, boom. It might taste nasty because we did that one. It won't taste nasty. You're gonna mix it, you're not even gonna taste it. It's just gonna make it a little crispier. All right, that's Italian seasoning. All right, great, you can put that one to the side. Okay, so now you're gonna massage it, mix it all up with your hands, you gotta mix it. You wanna get in there? <laughs> I 
don't do this before it was so cold. I know it is gonna be cold. Ugh, this looks so nasty. <sighs> I'm gonna get it, it in there good. good. It smells good. That yeah. smells good. Like it's watery here. Oh yeah, it's cause the yeah the fish probably just feels wet. Oh, okay, let's see, let's see. Mix good. I think it mixed pretty well. All right, so we're just gonna cheat it and I'm put it in the air fryer. Yeah, well, I'm gonna have you wash your hands. So we're just gonna put it in the air fryer and wash his hands, and then yeah, we're we'll be back. Let me show your hands. Yeah, that's the work. Yeah, that's real work. Yeah, we gotta clean up the kitchen too at the same time. Oh, we gotta yeah. clean up the dishes too. Yeah, sorry. I'm gonna <gasps> clean up the dishes all by myself now. You know why so? Yeah, I have to do it. My mom makes me wash the dishes, and all I right. do it all good. So when you put stuff in the air fryer, you wanna try to put like the bigger, thicker pieces near the back. Okay. Because that's the part that. I'm not washing my hands. You have to do it, yes. You have to wash your hands. Yes. But look, so I'm just gonna put like the pieces that are like chunkier are gonna go towards the back. And then the skinnier pieces, more towards the front. Why do you think that? Hmm? Why do you think I put the bigger pieces towards the back? Because it's gonna, um, I don't know. Um, because the bigger ones is gonna taste better than the little one. <laughs> um, close. Just tell me. Because the bigger ones, um, the bigger ones are just gonna cook. Are the closer it is to the back, the more they cook. So the ones that are bigger, we want them to cook more. Well, I was doing this right. It's close. All right, you wanna push the button? I don't know. I played with an air fryer before. Okay. And I made food for my mom. Okay, you're making fish. Cut the fish. Yep. And then what else? Oh, try again. You're close. <laughs> Okay, I know yeah. what to do now. Fish and <laughs> that no. Try again. No, look it. Yeah, I want you to guess. You were close when you were at this one. Uh, what does this say? Read. No, what, no, read it. What does it say? Keep warm. No, so that's not cooking it. Mm, what does time, this say? Time, time. Oh, time, time. Maybe. I don't think so. Temp or time, so no, no. You gotta push the fish again. This push that means play, basically or start. What I thought that means like stop. Like I don't well, know. You can play or pause. So the the triangle means like play, and the two lines mean pause. So why did uh, um, it's both? It's well, play or pause. So why does your triangle just don't turn into um a eleven because that's supposed to happen? An eleven? You can write like. Like, so if you press the pause button, too long. Oh, it's not an 11. It just means, I don't know, well, that's just a sign for pause. Can I get food over? No. Because no, that was so good. You were so good. We're going to eat dinner first. You got cookies. You got cookies. We got the cookies over. We got more cookies. <laughs> All right. Um. So we're going to clean up. Nope, we're going to use this time to clean up. I'm in there butchering the tacos, right? Huh? I'm in there butchering the tacos. Sir, so you can't even hate from outside the floor. You can't even get in. <laughs> Let go. That was so fast. It was like 10 yep. minutes. Why you ain't come help us? He didn't need to because it was fun without him. Oh, I was cooking with Cooper Ken. You're not lean. You would fit in the in the in the clan if you would accept your real name. Okay, so we're just gonna warm up our shells. Make sure they're not touching, okay? Okay, they're touching the middle, so pick them like. Okay. Remember, count around. six for your dad and two for you. Okay. How many is that total? Eight. Good job. That was quick. Good job. Yeah, daddy's on. Uh, hey. <laughs> Yeah, my fiance is abnormally good at math. I don't like hard tacos, so I do strictly soft. 
many more do you need? Do you have how many more? Do you, how many do you have right there? Two. How many more do you have right here? One more. You need one more? Yeah, because like six, like I, I think. Remember six for your daddy uh, and two for you. Oh, so it's not eight. So what did you, you right say? Okay. How many do you have? Five. You need eight. So how many more do you need? That's algebra. This is algebra. What? What? What does that mean? Solve for x. <laughs> Solve for x. Okay, I'm just saying. So if you have five up here and you need eight, how many more shells are you missing? How many shells are you missing? From five to eight is what? Eight minus five. What? Nine. What's eight minus five? Eight minus five. Relax. Put your shirt on. <laughs> eight minus five. Use your fingers if you got to. Start with eight fingers. Hold up eight fingers. That's all I want you to do. Hold up eight fingers. Great. All right, now I want you to take away five fingers. How many fingers do you have left? Three. The answer is three. <laughs> See what happens when we just calm down? I don't know what you was I over there doing on that on I that marble was, thing. I was pretending that was the number line. Oh, okay. Six, one, two. Okay, boom. All right, we're going to make this work a little bit with space. Check on the fish. Yum. The fish great. done? Yep. Oh, that was fast. That's faster than taco shells. I know. Yeah, that was good. Okay. Alrighty, so we're about to take the tacos out the oven. You starting to do that? Mm-hmm. Yes, um. Alright. Well, the meat is 20% bigger. Huh? Oh, they said they were bigger? Alrighty, so now we are going to dress our tacos. What? What do you want? You said you just want, um, you want taco sauce and this? Oh, uh, this taco sauce. Oh, okay. not the box. Everything but onions. Yeah. My God. Okay, taco shells, Cooper, excuse me. <laughs> Here is the fish. Um, and then here's my soft taco shells. Well, and Cooper got some soft too. All right, let's dress them up. All right, Daddy, can you open the taco sauce? You want the like Strong Daddy to the rescue. <laughs> Y'all loosen it up. You act like it's easy. I did that. I loosened it up for you. I was trying to open it. That's what I just said. But you didn't say me. Okay, so I just chopped it up a bit. It's so warm, as you, as you can see, because Cooper wanted to do his own. So I just made it easier. All right, go ahead. Just take a little bit and put it in. Good. All right, wait. Yeah, spread it out. Okay, okay. Ow. Ow. Hmm? Do I got to use a spoon? Mm-mm. You spit it really well. Okay, so we got Pico de Gallo. I think I think some kids are gonna watch this and they know what and they don't know what this is. It's called Pico de Gallo. It's just tomatoes, onions, and cilantro. Yep. Alright, that's enough. I just love it. Go ahead, pick it up. Now. 
All right, next ingredient, taco sauce. You can use the same spoon, just like. This one tastes good with cilantro. Mm-hmm. Oop, that's a little match. Okay, there we go. You don't want to overload your tacos and stuff. I put so much stuff on there. I'm not. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Okay, that's good. Mama, I do one. Nope, that's way too much. There we go. <laughs> And then cheese. We'll actually do the sour cream and then we'll do the cheese. Starting. Hello, guys. You see how good these look? This looks so good. What a do? Why oh, you guys look so aggressive? I don't know. You're getting caught off guard, man. I need the scissors. That's a lot for that soft taco. Mm hmm. Okay, we're done. That's why you should have helped. A little sprinkle. This is queso quesadilla cheese. It's better for tacos. Just so you know. More authentic. All right, bon appetit. Well done. Bon appetit. Ooh, what a all done with the boom final oh. product you say bye everybody all right time to eat thanks bye. for cooking with us peace from the middle east boom boom